Mega March is once again teaming up with Hobby Link Japan to bring you a deal. Use coupon code MEGAMARCH24 at checkout to save 5% on any in-stock items. The code is valid all through March, so be sure to use it while you can. Affiliate link is in the description, and thanks again to Hobby Link Japan for supporting the channel. Let's jack into Mega March! Yeah, baby! Hello everyone, and welcome to another exciting edition of Mega March. My name is Coleman X, and today I am joined with... Sylvie, reporting in. How's it going? Thank you for being here, my friend. Yep, doing my best to make it count. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, today we have the man of many names. Uh, oh, yeah. Yamato man, Japan man, a samurai man once. Um, uh, this guy, you know, look at him. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the beetle in samurai armor. <laughs> Literally a big bad Beetleborg. Dang. I don't so, that, but <laughs> I uh, appreciate I, that you did. <laughs> I mean, just just look up Flabber. That's the best part of the show. Flabber. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Tangent already, but what the heck is this? <laughs> did you look up Flabber? Yeah. I, I didn't even need to. Be, I didn't even need to put big bad Beetleborgs. I just put Flabber in it. <laughs> I have a friend that's gonna really love the Flabber um, right. reference. But he, he he was basically the Zordon character. Oh, uh, okay. But he was Jay Leno and Elvis, but also a blue ghost. I, you know, I was born in this decade, but the 90s were some weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, <laughs> Mega Man. Man. Yeah. Um, so, classic is certainly a design. Um, mm. th this is when the classic Robot Masters really started transitioning to very detail-oriented designs. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like I, I, it sort of started with five, I would argue, but not as much, because this guy's like a random gem and like some lines, and he's his weird like foot protector, you know, just yeah. like extra lines everywhere. He's a busy mess, especially for an NES character, you know? Yeah, it definitely does not translate to the sprite, I think. Yeah very well or very direct <laughs> but I, I, I'm not gonna look at him and say that he doesn't look cool because he definitely does you know he like like he, he look he looks like just a a guy yeah you know he's just like they, there's not too much about him besides that he's wearing samurai armor and he's got a spear spears a cool weapon you know yeah. and it, like, the uh, backside of the spear like that was sort of repurposed into uh the the hilt of the z saber oh yeah good call you know, it's got, you got the little spike and stuff so like mm -hmm. I, I, that's good you know for sure um his little emblem on his hat looks like a w i gotta wonder <laughs> if um if um he had that originally before he was uh taken over by mr <laughs> x you sure it's not just a y with the bottom chopped off <laughs> <laughs> It's a it's a tuning fork. He's actually a musical based. Oh, you know master. what? I like that. <laughs> I mean, he's got a good song, so you know, yeah. I'll give it to him. What I actually think uh, might be a little bit, maybe this is just me, but one thing I think is pretty cool about this design is that it's almost like the perspective in the artwork and even in the sprite almost implies mm -hmm. that he has like beetle wings in the back. Oh, and, okay. And part of that is like sort of the armor pieces also. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, um, but it's not actually, as far as I can tell, like, part of his design or part of his body. Um, mm. So, if that was intentional, then kudos to, like, making good use of just silhouette or uh, implying that without actually being there. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, like, yeah, ju it's just the implication is cool because, like, like you said, he's he's very um, beetle-like, especially his face. Yeah. yeah, definitely. You know, he's, like, I, 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 I do like that... Uh, what would be described as his ear area? It, like it looks like it can just like close up over his face. It 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 doesn't look like it would cover it all, but it, sure. you know it's 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 a nice try. It's you know it's shutters on the window. It's trying. Yeah, definitely. One other thing to note about classic uh, mm -hmm. Yamato here is that it seems like his design varies pretty significantly across various appearances in media. Mm -hmm. Um. 
so the Mega Man Mega Mix uh, design is pretty pretty different. It's a lot oh, more like yeah, industrial yeah. and stylized. Um, the sprite in the uh, Mega Man base data CD is like completely freaking different. He's not stubby anymore. <laughs> He's like X size basically. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you definitely have a lot to go around even with just this uh, version of the character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean. He's cool. He's doing it. But, you know, then we look over at EXE. Um, yeah. I, I really like the different take on the on the color scheme. I don't know if I like it better. I would probably say better. I'm like, with like, you there, yeah. Like, like I, I really like purple. Like, purple's just a really pleasant color. But, sure. the, like, I, I think the way that EXE's design looks, like, it feels like blue is the color for it. <laughs> you know what color. I mean? Yeah. Like, like it, it, just, it just feels right. And, um... I, I'm not sure how I feel that his spear is an energy spear now. It's very, very interesting. Well, I'm almost wonder if that is a consequence of the color change or, or the other way around. Because it's almost like the blue of that energy spear is built purely to complement this new color scheme. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, a little bit more like electric blue kind of feel. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what, like, what... Reservations do you have by it? Let me see. Maybe not like it as much. I mean, I, I just, I just like, I, I, I just, I, my, my loyalty is usually with purple, you know. Okay. Like, like, like pur purples and greens, I gravitate to a lot. Mm -hmm. But like the, the light blueish parts. Yeah. And the blue green, uh, whatever color that is on EXE wouldn't normally be my first choice, but it works yeah. with this design, you know, so I, I can't say I don't like it. Sure, yeah. You know, I, I, I think it's good, and I like that his... Um, I like that his chest is, like, like the, the emblem is, like, indented. You mm. know, it, it makes it, it makes his chest kind of look like a castle, you know? Okay. Like, he's got, like, like, like levels to his design, and that kind of fits true. with the That's true, yeah. Armor. Almost like a pagoda... Kind uh -huh. of thing going on, from, yeah. From top to bottom, if you take it, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially like in that stance, because he makes sort of a like a triangular shape. Yeah. yeah. Um, one thing I will say is that the beetle esque elements, if that was intentional in the first place, mm -hmm. <laughs> extremely toned down here. Uh, yeah. But I, the only thing that I would say is actually more like that though is his face. Um, yeah, like like it, it looks more like a. Like, like, just so, some sort of, like, samurai mask. Yeah, or like, like kind of like mouth pincers with the jutting chin. Yeah, um, like, yeah. I don't know, he's he's rocking the beard. Like, look at him, it's a square beard. For sure. You, you hate to see it. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, uh, he's got, he's got giant shoulder balls, and I, I say that's a plus. Because giant shoulder oh, that, balls that, all, yeah. always look cool. Yeah, they look good in pretty much every character that has <laughs> So sure. it, like it, he's doing it. I I, I feel like and the thing is just he, there. There's nothing terribly striking about him. He's like tall and imposing, but the color yeah. scheme does as as nice as actually I think it does look uh, with all the complementary colors. I mm -hmm. it doesn't scream intimidation in any way. And especially yeah. if you look at his at his sprite, where mm -hmm. he's meant to look like you know like the bodyguard statue kind of thing. Uh, uh -huh. It it it, it kind of more just screams like background character to me, like generic NPC ish. Yeah, I can you know? totally see that. Yeah, but like like it, when I'm comparing the two, I see classic as the first attempt at a at a samurai cosplay, yeah. right? <laughs> and then the EXE one is someone who's more seasoned and knows what they're doing, and they made a much better costume. Sure. So like that that's that's how it feels to me. It's like it's like the grown up version of the classic design. Like there's not too much to it, but it has enough to at least stand out compared to its inspiration. I think that's true. Um what are there any other like samurai or samurai themed enemies across the franchise that, like that may have done this design? A little bit more, like, better or more memorable that you can think of? Um, 
I'm sure I there, think... there's got to be something, just maybe not off the top of our head. I, I, th I think one of X's unused command mission armors, like, it, it, it was sort of ninja-y, but I think it had mm -hmm. some samurai elements to it. Okay. But may maybe I'm just conflating the color red with <laughs> samurai, because, like, Final Fantasy games usually oh. make samurais red and black. Gotcha. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, that, might, that might just be me getting some wires crossed. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I'm not really sure, so th this might just be a concept that maybe needs a needs another touch. Yeah, should definitely worth revisiting. Uh, and next time, I hope they don't localize it as Japan, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what were they thinking? Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty uh, cringe, as they say. <laughs> and, like, Japan's not even a place in Battle Network. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's like doesn't Yum it Land. Place, it, it, yeah, doesn't it, it take place in like a like an Eagle Land knockoff? <laughs> yeah, it's like Yum Land, so. ACDC Town. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Akadik Town. Um, it's like, like a... know, all these weird places, and then just like, ah, Japan. It's like Master Roshi, <laughs> and I think what, in the Broly movie when they're doing karaoke, and he's like, oh, yeah. Says, you're, you're, you're he's like, it, yeah. <laughs> It doesn't even exist. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Fusion. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, okay, we do have one truly important question to answer here, though. Yes. Who would win, Yamato Man or Shadow Man? <laughs> Samurai versus ninjas. Probably Shadow Man. Yeah. I'm going to say Shadow Man, like, because that that is a, like, it doesn't matter which incarnation, that is a design that people remember. <laughs> You know. Oh, I meant in a fight. Oh yeah. Well, I mean. Still shadow. <laughs> yeah. Still, still shadow man. Yeah. Uh, he hides I don't in think shadows, a, man. I don't think a spear can handle metal blade light. <laughs> yeah. Metal blade light. Yeah. The 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 thing about uh, Yamato man in classic is at least Wily built his castle based on Yamato man in a way because it's just a very Japanese style castle. Sure. So th there's the true victory, I think. Fair enough. He influenced Wily. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, man, this this robot he stole is really cool. <laughs> you know he's done that for like multiple other ones, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the kind of guy he is. Oh, Wily, yeah. But um, yeah, I yeah, as much as much as I like look at this design, I don't have much to say about it. So, yeah. do you have anything else to really add before we? No, go? I think I, if I just was to choose between the two, I would pick the EXE version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, same. Just because I, I actually I do think, despite what I said about the intimidation factor, I do think the color scheme is more unique. Like it's something yeah. you don't you don't really see that often. Whereas for me, the like purple and yellow just strikes as a bit more generic. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, alright. I'll take it. Um, so, yeah, that's it for Yamato Japan Samurai Man. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> um, cool. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Um, Sylvie, thank you for being on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, thank you for coming. There's uh, still more Mega March on the way, so um, uh, keep an eye out, and we'll see you next time. Sylvie, right. thank you again for being on. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, uh, everybody. Hope you enjoy the rest of the month, and keep doing all those clicks and engagement stuff. We appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right, everybody. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye. Too yeah. too bad. Too bad. Rabita doesn't control him because he's Yamato man. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> I just wanted to say that before I stopped recording. All right, yeah. so here. <laughs>